Hey guys, it's Lucas Kobro here with a nice, relaxing 16th Spy video. I set up the engineer's buildings and then kill the demo who's not paying attention, and start to push the cart. Soldier sees me, but a friendly demo starts to attack him, so I move forward to block some of the shots for the demo. I move back towards the cart to push it, and a pyro startles me. So, I go for the matter or stab. Aww, yeah! <laughs> And then escape with that drink. Now, this is a very interesting comparison. Here I stab the demo, and I jump over a scout's head for the stair stab. However, they're all pushing the cart, and so, while I could have gotten the stair stab there, I decide to choose life over it. Sometimes you're going to have to choose between going for a flashy stab and dying, or, or living to help out your team. Here, I unself behind them, and stab an engineer. And the pyro starts to give chase, so I jump up the stairs and get a nice stair stab on him. And then, <laughs> do this cute little back and forth dance with the heavy, while I wait for my cloak to recharge. Here, I set up a scout, and I'm unsure of where to go because there's three different spawn points, so I jump into this corner here, and bide my time. Pyro comes out of spawn, and so I headshot him for the kill. I also see a soldier, so I wait for him to move forward. Once he moves forward, I move forward as well, watching my back along the way. Pick up the needs to kill on him. Now here, I make the mistake, I try and twitch headshot the sniper instead of just aiming. When someone's holding still, just aim and go for the headshot. There's no reason to make it fancy. Once I had to shot that sniper, he takes off and I finished him through the buildings. I jumped down and finish off a pyro, and then we're able to win the round. Here. I managed to jump over an engine for a stair stab and then catch a heavy side. soldier forces me to DR here, and then I cheekily jump on the soldier's head while in stealth. I remove DR and two pyros see me, so I headshot one and then body shot him twice. I'm not able to pick up the kill, but I'm still able to sidestab the pyro who comes up the stairs. I see an entry and I wanted to sap the dispenser and headshot him once he comes to remove the sapper, but then I lose my nerve because I'm so low health. So I decide to just buy by the time and do something else. So I go back trying to aim for him, and then a scout runs by and I'm able to get a headshot. I'm trying to line up a headshot on him, but finally give up and just decide to take out the dispenser. When I realize that I've wasted so much time because the soldier already killed him, I feel really embarrassed. So finally, I move forward and kill the heavy. I give chase to the soldier, and while I thought I was being rather sneaky, <laughs> he still manages to notice me and spy check me for the kill. Now, soldiers and demos cause explosive damage that can sometimes kill them. Anytime you're in a bad spot, just run towards them and hope for the best. I'm able to kill a heavy and get in a bad spot, so I just push forward, slash him, and he kills himself. <laughs> Leading to what would have been a worthless death, giving me a kill. Awesome, right? Here I'm behind him and I kill a medic and a heavy, and then change the skies to an enemy so I can heal off the cart. Unfortunately, I'm in a really bad spot here. There are enemies all around, and <laughs> it's just not a good place for me to be. But the scramble vote I initiated works and goes through, <laughs> and it saves my life. Hell yes. I move forward and stab a soldier, heavy, and a demo. I move up to the roof to reposition while waiting for DR to recharge. I see a heavy, and while I mistime this, I'm able to get him on the second stab before <laughs> catching a pipe bomb to the face. Now, oftentimes with Dead Ringer, you're gonna have to soak up damage to secure a kill. This can not only increase your chances of getting a kill because DR won't trigger, it'll also make you blend in better. Now, here, I move at a spawn and see a mini sentry, and then 100% on purpose. 
kill a stealth spy. <laughs> yes, I'm that good. <laughs> I finished off the mini sentry, and then no savvy. Get a headshot on him. Now, with dealing with engineers, your best bet is to catch them alone with no friends nearby. However, when enemies join them, sometimes you have to rely on other methods of killing the sentry in these buildings. Here, because I'm not able to just kill the engineer while he's alone, I rely on an alternate tactic by just spam sapping his buildings. And once he gets used to removing the sapper, he gets in that habit. And so he goes back to remove the sapper once again, unaware that I was just waiting for the kill. Here I move forward on the cart, and I start shooting a heavy. I feel vulnerable, but when he's not focused on me, I'm able to just finish him off. Another heavy starts to shoot me, but once again, once he stops paying attention to me, I'm able to just dart forward for the kill, before jumping in the air for the mid-air headshot on the sniper. I move forward, catch a nice side up on the demo. And once again, I'm unsure of where I should be waiting, so I just dart into this corner and wait to see what happens. Now a pyro who's been giving me a lot of trouble comes out of spawn, so I move forward. Now normally you'd either run or shoot him with your pistol, but there's a friendly spy here, so I <laughs> tell my friendly spy, get ready and bait the pyro into this perfect bait. However, the spy wasn't paying attention! So my perfect bait was for nothing, but oh well, sometimes that happens. I move forward and a sniper sees me and I want to get into a side stab, and so while prepping it up, he accidentally runs in front of a friendly heavy. <laughs> That's one way to finish him off. I move back in, and a sniper doesn't buy my disguise and starts to spy check me, so I use my DR. But I remove it quickly because not only do I know I could live, I can also bait him to an easy stair stab. Now here, I come out of spawn and I notice an Edgy who's uh, camping spawn in a weird place, so I headshot on him and then DR and we're shooting to spawn. Once I'm at full again, I come out of spawn and finish him off with a second headshot for sapping his mini sentry. That closet heals you. It's uh, basically your best tactic to handle a spawn camper. When someone's camping spawn, come out of spawn, do a little damage, come back in and heal. It's one of the best tactics to handling spawn campers. I move forward and stab a sniper. And then I sat this teleporter, helping that energy would hand worry about the teleporter instead of setting up another sentry. I jump down and push the cart some more and then kill soldier who's not paying attention. Now notice, that pirate has been giving me a lot of trouble just coming to spawn, but there's also a demo, tossing stickies on the cart. This allows you to set up something really, really awesome. The pyro is still giving chase, and I want to push that cart, so I head right back in, slash to start pushing the cart, bring up DR, and then jump. The demo blows his stickies, allowing me to launch over the pyro's head and to completely avoid his fire damage, and then I take pot shots at him just to be a cheeky bastard. <laughs> I move back in, the pyro sees me, however, I'm able to time DR appropriately, so he buys the fame. I see some stickies, and I want to remove them, but then I didn't want the demo to come look for me. So instead, I change to sniper disguise. Snipers often camp in this back little pathway. I start to move forward, and the soldier comes, and it's obvious he's going to spy check me, so I just freeze, and he buys the skies! <laughs> I'm able to reposition, and when he comes back out of spawn, get the stair stab on him! Hell yes! <laughs> I'm feeling a little worried here, so I just want to push the cart with my Adi and suicide. However, the pyro freaks out and moves too much to the side. So, not only am I able to get the stair stab, I'm able to get a side stab on the pyro, making him think it was a face dive because of how close it was. Hell yes. <laughs> That's how you revenge in style. Now here, I see a spy, and I jump over his head, but he's invisible and I miss the stab, so instead I want to coax him out. But luckily I see an enemy here, so I slash him, and then headshot him, pull out DR because I know the spy is still around, and then he comes out of stealth. One great way of getting a spy out of stealth is by attacking a nearby teammate. Just be really cautious to make sure you don't allow yourself vulnerable to be vulnerable to the spy. Also, another great way of coaxing the spy out of spawn is when you have Deadringer, just holding still and pretending like you're AFK with Deadringer out. It works wonders and sometimes can allow a spy to come out of stealth and allow your teammates to easily kill him. Now I'm waiting behind them, trying to figure out who I want to go for, and a demo notices me, so I bait him into a sidestep. I wanted to kill the medic here, but he backs off like he should, so instead I drop on down and go for the kill. 
I'm able to get the stab on the medic and then hide by the dispenser, but there's a second sentry, so I'm forced to dead ringer anyways. Now, I don't often talk about this, but anytime I come out of a spawn and I notice a level 1 sentry, I always build it up. I always switch to engineer and build it up. Always do that. It'll really help out your team a lot. Just building up a, a teleport anytime you see a low level 1. Here, I move forward, and I see a sentry that's not being guarded by the engineer, but a heavy starts to spy check me. And by moving in between to be a little more, less vulnerable to shots, the gate blocks two of my shots, preventing me from killing the sentry. Always be careful when you move in between shots, because it can greatly decrease your accuracy. I move back in, and while the sentry is still being set up, headshot the engineer. This makes the engineer feel very vulnerable, so he stops focusing on the sentry, and he comes out to, to try to kill me. I use my DR to feign, and then the engineer heads back to spawn to heal, and I take this opportunity, while the sentry is alone, to sap it. I left the dispenser up because I wanted to 1v1 someone. Unfortunately, three enemies come. So, now, since <laughs> I'm not able to 1v1 anyone, I want to sap everything, so I head back up to the path, and then once I bait someone in to come, jump down, remove DR, pick up the metal. This gives me another free DR, allowing me to get easy saps. I'm feeling a little vulnerable though, so... and. Instead of going for a kill, I just push the cart. It'll help out my team a little bit more. Here, a scout notices me, and I jump a little closer to get, you know, a little distance on him, and then jump for the stair side, but miss it! But if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. <laughs> Unless you're the Confederacy. Yeah? G get it? Get it? Because the Confederacy? Tried to secede from the. Okay, now that I've just made a horrible joke, it's time to end this video. <laughs> hey, if I'm forced to sit through college history classes, you know, I'm gonna use that knowledge system out. Even if it's to make really, really tacky jokes. I'm sorry, guys. Forgive me. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching my 16th spy video. Summer is here, and I am so very relaxed. My god. <laughs> That's the lounge music, that's the relaxing music. I'm in such a good mood. Summer allows me to be so productive with <laughs> everything I enjoy, with all of my hobbies. And it just leads to such a wonderful lifestyle for me during these first few months. Unfortunately, sometimes it can cause me to be a little lazy. This video probably could have been out a week earlier. But uh, I'm going to try to always be productive every day. That's one of my New Year's resolutions. I want to make sure I stay motivated this summer. I don't want it to be wasted like last summer when I got like maybe one video out. <laughs> uh, well, I might be taking a little extra time for my next video because I'm going to drastically increase the quality of games. I normally just take random footage I have from every single game and I'm thinking about drastically increasing quality. I'm not sure whether it'll be a very high quality spy video or a very like high quality montage. I haven't decided yet, but we'll see how it goes. Let me know your thoughts. Do you prefer one? I'm kind of thinking about montage because I've not done a montage yet, but uh, you know, I'm open to suggestions. Let me know what you thought of the video in the comments and give it a like if you enjoyed it. I really appreciate the views. And uh, I really appreciate just input. If you think of a way I can improve, or if you want me to focus on something, let me know. There's some loadouts some people suggested, so I'll probably be doing those in the future. <laughs> I love that clip. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching my 16th spy video. Now, click that subscribe button, or this will happen to you. AFL. <laughs> Did I just upgrade that to level 3? They're coming, Crow. You bastard. You bastard. <laughs> Oh, good game. <laughs> I saw the arrow too, and I'm like, oh, it's probably some cool spot I don't know about. Oh, well played, sir.
Feel free to take my teleporter, guys. <laughs> I'm not trusting any more edges. No more.